Hello everybody. I am doing a little video on area of irregular shapes. That means a shape that's not just a square or a rectangle. So you will need scrap paper to do a couple of practice ones with me. So I'll give you just a minute to get that scrap paper. Or if you want to, you can pause the video for a second while you get scrap paper and pencil or ink pen or whatever, just something to write with. If you've already got it, let's do this shape first. You can go ahead and draw that shape. Need to pause the video so that you can look at that shape a little bit more. Go for it. Okay, so here you can see that we have this, well, first at the top, we've got area equals length times width. But when you have a shape like this, you have a side here that is nine and a side here that is seven, but then you also have a side up here at the top that's a four and a three. So it's like we have two rectangles together. So you can't just multiply length times width because which length times which width. So in a shape like this, you simply want to break the shape into two smaller rectangles. This shape is a bit easier because it's pretty obvious where you would break it. It's about the only place to break it. So I always like to draw a dotted line right here, which I might have to turn it around to do that. Excuse me. So I drew a dotted line right here. Now I can see that I have rectangle one here, which has the length of four and the width of three and rectangle two here, which has a width of seven and a length of nine. So now I would plug that into my equation up here at the top by doing four times three equals, that's right, 12, and we wanna put square units. Something else that helps me with this, if I have paper, is to just put the little 12 units squared up here in this area right here. That way, it reminds me I've already done that rectangle and it's time to move on to this next one. This one, what will I multiply? That's right, nine times seven. If you wanna do your fingers trick and put down your seventh finger, you can do that or probably you've already got it memorized that nine times seven is 63. But I also want to put squared units. And I might just put that in here as well, just to remind me that I've already done this rectangle as well. Now, to get the entire shape together here, what would I do? I know we went over this in class on Friday. Think back. That's right, we'll have to add to put them together. You know that all together is a key word for add anyway. So now we've multiplied length times width for our area, but when we're gonna put two shapes together, we'll have to add those. So you would do 63 plus 12. And let's see what we would get here. Three and two is five. And six in one is seven. So we would get 75 units squared for our total area. Now let's practice another one where the spot to divide the shape might not be as simply seen. Here I have drawn another shape. On this shape here, you have two rectangles, or you could, you could divide it here, 
or you could divide it here. So when I have a shape like this, I like to look at the numbers that they've already given me because sometimes that can help me determine where I'm going to divide it. And if I don't divide it in that spot, I might have to have a, a side that I'm going to have to figure out what its length or width is because the dimensions might be missing. So when I look here, I would know that this rectangle, if I was to divide this here, I would know that I would have a rectangle that had a length of seven and a width of five. And if I divided it here, once again, I'd know that I'd have a rectangle down here at the bottom that would have a length of 10 and a width of four, which means I wouldn't need to use this 11 at all. I think that's where I'm gonna do it because I know that I already have those sides and I won't have a missing side. So I'm going to divide it once again with the little dots. And then on your scrap paper, write down what would I do to find the area of this top rectangle here. That's right. You would multiply seven times five, the length times the width. We can count by fives pretty easy. I know all of you all are really good at that and everyone in our class has passed their fives multiplication facts. 35 is correct. Now this time I wouldn't put square units because they gave me centimeters. So I'd put centimeters squared. And you can write it with a little symbol or if you wanna write out squared, that's fine as well. So just to remind myself that I've already done this top rectangle, I'm going to put 35 centimeters squared up there. I have one more rectangle to do, and that's this bottom one. And it, what would its multiplication be to find area? That's right, 10 times 4. The length of 10 times the width of 4. And we're pretty good at counting by 10s in our class as well. What do you get? That's right, 40. Did you say squared centimeters? I hope so. And once again, I'll just put it right here to remind myself that I have already done this one. Now, what do you do to find the total all together, both rectangles? That's right, all together in total is a key word for adding. So we would add the 40 and the 35. And you get 75 centimeters squared is correct. I hope that helps you. Please use your scrap paper on today's assignment. I know that you all will do great. I miss you all a lot. Hope you're enjoying the snow and I love you. Bye.